Hello, hello to all the amazing YouTube people. The Nimer here, another Library of Ruina gameplay video. So last time we invited the musicians of the Bremen into our library and turned them into the books. And turns out they gave us some very, very nice abilities. Um, let me equip the pages here. So we got, uh, well, we're still using Salvador's page. There we go. We are still using Olga's page. Although, you know what? Olga, I'm not really getting the, the best of her. I'm not really, I'm not managing to pull off what I need to pull off. So I'm gonna give Olga a little bit more chance. I'm trying to do this, scratch that brawl combo, but it's not really coming together unless I get really lucky. I'm gonna keep trying though. Uh, and then we got, uh, we got the, what is it? We got Hanafuda's page here. So Hanafuda has, uh, well, one of these has only, let me see. Yeah, only five out of six enchanted, so, mm. Maybe this one's not so important. Yeah, drawing extra pages maybe not so important. Let's drop that. Um... Uh, let me think, let me think. Well, unless unless I use that card, right? There's a really good card. There's a really good card. Uh, what did I do? Let me see. So cards. Yeah, I think we got a new card which gets power from... Yeah, gain plus one power for each page in hand. Let's say plus five, five to eleven. Uh, I don't know. It's so so, right? If four plus pages are in hand, discard four random pages and boost the minimum value of fancy dice on this page by plus three. Nah. I don't think this card is good enough to run the to run the battle already. I mean, if I have eight, it would be nine to fifteen. Uh, still kind of weak for four damage, right? I like these. Make paralysis on enemies. Paralysis up to X dice have their maximum reward increased, decreased by three. Really good. Paralysis is nice. Paralysis is nice. I don't have any here though. This deck is all over the place as well. I'm not having much fun with this thing. I'm not using it a lot. It should be very good uh, with the Stigma Workshop Weaponry, but I'm just not feeling it. I'm gonna drop the Sunset Blade here. Also this one, I'm gonna keep it in mind, but I did not get much out of it either. I'll get another Andrew here. I think that's one a really good one. We could use some of the new cards to regain light as well. On use, gain free strength next scene. Oof. That's what's really good for winning clashes, right? Yeah, definitely something I might consider. Right now I'm having no problems. Lower these pages scores by one up to two times. Five to fifteen for one. <laughs> yes, please. So this one's really good if the fight will be long. On use, restore two light. This one's also pretty interesting actually. Three to eight and three to seven. So many good cards, what to choose, what to choose, right? Unforgettable Melody, Combat Start. Give one strength to two random allies. Oh, I kind of like that one, actually.
Yeah, I consider this one pretty dangerous to go against. Zap. Eh. I don't like paralysis on defense clash wins, especially when they are so, so random. Shocking blow. I'll get one of these. I like paralysis, so that's good. Also, it's a pretty strong card in general. 4 to 6, 3 to 5. Doesn't really go well with the Stigma Workshop weaponry, but the Flash of Sun up does. Throws me some cards. Yeah. You're on hindrance. Didn't feel like get. Oh, there it is. Give one strength to random ally on combat start. Uh, so if I feel like I'm not strong enough, I can replace the flash of uh, sun up with a whole bunch of red notes. <laughs> that might be fun. Let's grab one of these, there we go. But it's on combat start, so we don't really know who gets it, right? That's the interesting part. Give two protection to two random... I'm not using this card often. It's really good to win the clash on the second spot, 7 to 18. But other than that, I'm... Like, this will be a really good card if we need to win clash, but... Other than that, I'm not so sure. This one's probably fine. So I'm not sure which one of these is better. If you want to drop something, you drop one of those. Still trying to pull that combo off. And here... Uh, I don't think... Yeah, why do we have so many discard cards here? Yeah, no, no, no. I know there are some good cards I'm not using them. That I'm not using. It's just that there's just too many. There's just too many. Oh, interesting. So what's the name of the card? The Red Notes. So is this by Alphabetical? No, I don't think so. Wait, what does it do? Give one strength, right? So I can f filter by strength, I guess. There we go. Now that was way easier than... Yeah. And then I'll end you. So we filter by Parolas is here. On heat, inflict palm paralysis next game. On clash win. No, oh, no, 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 that one's better. This one always does it on hit. This one's a bit weird. Electric shock. On hit, inflict one paralysis next scene. Oh, so it's the same card as Alendria. So this one is 10 and 8, and this one is 10 and 9. This one's a little bit more random, so I think I prefer this one. some cost all right paralysis and bleed no i think this is the best one right okay well let's go and see what the abnormality will have for tiferet yum yum and dakota here uh right 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 i mean i could make these a little bit better setups and stuff so right now we have a lot of bonuses at the start of the act I'm looking for the bonuses which give you at the start of the scene, can't wait for those, but well, not yet anyway. So let's do! Will we enter the book of the Queen of Hatred? Sure. Let's go. Scene 1. Oh, look at it. It's uh, It has a lot of HP. 
She'd often come out to aid us, but she was more trouble than help. Wasn't it supposed to be a magical girl? Uh, something, something. I've always believed I, it's finally here. An evil must be defeat. Okay. There's no light without the darkness. I can stand here thanks to your existence. Right, that's true though. There's no light without the, 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 the darkness because you can only define one with the other. You guys are ill because you're disturbing this place. I'm the one. I'm the on the side of the good, so those who oppose me, blah blah. Okay, well, cool. Queen Queen of Hatred. Oh, she has a lot of stuff, so let's go and read. Speed 2. Speed dice slot plus 2. Cannot overlap your hit. So she has 3 dice. Adverse change when the Hysteria Gouge is filled, transform. The Hysteria Gouge rises uh, upon losing clashes or being attacked by marked characters and decreases upon winning clashes or attacking marked characters. The screen pinkens from left to the right as the Gouge fills. At the end of the scene, restore all light and draw two pages. Oof. In the name of the hate, use, uses, uses a page that leaves a mark on the target every two scenes. All resistances of the marked character change to weak, and the character will primarily target by the abnormality, okay? Arcana Slave uses a mass attack page that targets all librarians every four scenes. If the abnormality uses the page with, while transformed, it becomes staggered on the following scene. I have no idea what transformation is, though. So the Hysteria Gouge rises upon losing clashes or being attacked by marked characters and decreases upon winning clashes. So I don't know, it, should we try to transform her or is that something we should like stay away from? Let's see what kind of cards she has. Arcana beats, marks the target 6 to 10. Gain plus 5 power if the attack is one-sided. Gain plus 5 power if attack is one-sided. So I want to clash with that one for sure. And then we got... Uh, Okay, Arcana beats in the name of justice and then uh, in the name of love and justice. On Clash lose, lower max value of last die by 3. On Clash lose, lower the max value of last die by 3. On hit, inflict 3 bind. Gain to strength next scene. So this one, this one we really have to win the Clash against. I don't feel like we are really prepared for this by the way. So this one I guess we left through. Ah, oh, we cannot stagger her. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um free to eight, free to eight. So this one has, we have to win, like all three of them if possible. So we need something with three strikes that's gonna win here and that's gonna be super tough actually. Oh well, that one's gonna do it, right? <laughs> Oh, let's do this. Combat start. Give one strength to random ally. Why not? Oh, we have one more. Mm. Uh, yeah, I'm starting to like this one. Um, <laughs> right. Okay, well, let's see what happens. She rolled a five. Well, we have two strengthened, so this should be a pretty good roll here, right? Eight, yep. Bam. And then this one's pretty weak. So first turn shouldn't be too hard, because on the first turn we will have a... Uh, in the name of the love and justice. So the, the screen should be going pinkish, she's gonna enter Hysteria and transform. Why is everyone happy? I won't have anything to do. Right, so this one's the one we have to win, shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, especially with all that extra strength and all. So first turn, not too, not too hard, right? 
Well, she's already one fifth dead, so that's good. So the screen is going pink. pink. Where can we see the progress? Like, I would like to see what's this current emotion coins dagger resist current hp uh where can i see like so her hysteria gauge just feels transformed the screen pinkens from left to right as the coach feels well, to me it seems like most of the screen is pink like all the way up to here maybe now this one will be a little bit harder to win. In the name of justice, right. So she's playing this two we already know about. So this one last time we defeated with scratch that. It would be nice to use paralyze against it. So anyone has scratch that? You do. So I can take a six in against. Oh, we don't have enough. Okay, well then. Uh, then I'll probably not win this this fight here. Villain, become the target of the Queen of Hatred. So yeah, let's continue winning clashes whenever we can. Then. Yeah, we should get some stuff which returns the uh, which returns the light. That would help a lot. Although if she's already like <laughs> one third down, so with love well, I'm just gonna let this one through I mean right this one on clash loose now, this one we can try to fight with Alenja like that and this one well this one doesn't this one can't be one sided 3 to 8 3 to 8 so I need something good against it. Well, something that can also like intercept her, but this one rolled two twos, so that's not gonna work. But that's kind of bad. So I really need this not to be one-sided though, because we get way more damage. Uh, so I guess I'll sacrifice one of these for it. Yeah, definitely not gonna be as good turn as the first one. In the name of justice. Endured. Okay, that's nice. In the name of justice. Well, we still did some damage with the thing we sacrificed, so that's good. In the name of the love and justice. Okay, so we clash here, but the third one will will trigger here. But only for five. She's gonna get some strength next turn. Oh, wait, not. We managed to pull that one off, I think. With love. Why did we... I didn't wanna... I did not wanna clash there but okay i think she's just retained the blocks from from a different attack though so yeah that's why it happened okay so far so good so where's the pink okay so we lost some pink pink here right uh, basically so that's not good we are not doing good or maybe we are who knows The Hysteria Gouch rises when losing clashes or being attacked by my characters and decreases upon winning clashes. So we don't want her to win clashes and it, we don't want her attacking marked characters. Right now nobody's marked. So the only thing I don't want is her winning clashes basically. Okay, let's see. This one 6 to 10. I can use 7 to 18 on it. Oh no, that's not gonna work. Okay. Uh... Other than that, we just let this one go then. Okay, this one I kind of wanna do. I can try scratch that against that. There we go. And then this one here. This one we don't want one sided. Alinja is fine against that, I think. 
4 to 6, 3 to 5. She has no paralysis on, that's pretty bad. So maybe not. Crack of Dawn. I could do Crack of Dawn. Yeah, let her burn! Burn! <laughs> right, well, I do want to inflict paralysis on her though. Like, that was bad that I did not do it last scene, so maybe not. I mean... Yeah. But that one can't be one-sided. I can, like, use this one to, to clash with that, so that's okay. There we go. And then... Here I do wanna use I wanna use Al Engia. But then I'm gonna have to change this up again. There we go. And we can use something else. I'll just save the light for the next turn. Yeah, let's just save the light. So we are on emotion level one, max light plus one, she's on level zero. Yeah, it's gonna be okay. In the name of justice, uh get scratched. Ooh, that's a good roll. So there's no effect where we do like chum chum. That's because she has stagger resist. So we just do damage without staggering her, basically. In the name of justice. So the, here we just sacrifice the thing, I guess. Yep. And what's happening here? I'll end you. Right, make her paralysis for next turn, that's good. Yeah, we're totally winning this. I was a bit worried, but maybe it seems like... Oh wait, what's that? It's finally here, an evil I must defeat. Uh, what the heck is going on? There's no light without the darkness. I can stand here thanks to your existence. Is she transforming? Oh, what's that? What's that? <laughs> yeah, no, she's not transforming. The pink is here. I would like her to transform, but then we would need a really good deck for clashing. But I felt like she did not, like, win many clashes. So why is pink on the left side? Yeah, decreases upon winning clashes or attacking marked characters. I mean, she didn't win any clashes and there was no marked characters. Yeah, so we definitely want her to transform, but we kind of failed. Uh. Ooh, mass attack. Mass attack page icon. The icon on the combat page indicates that it's a mass attack page. When you select a target with a mass attack page, it will automatically target a random speed die for every other enemy. Ooh. Properties of a mass attack. Mass attack pages will always be played before melee and range pages, regardless of speed. So this one goes first, right? The dice rolls of the mass attack page are compared with the rolls of the combat pages on the target speed dice. And the targets that roll lower than the mass attack will take damage and have their dice be destroyed. Wait, what? <laughs> Two types of mass attack pages exist, individual and summation individual. Mass attacks are compared against the roll of each individual die on the target speed dice combat page in sequence, excluding counter dice. Wait, what? Individual and summation individual. And summation, right. Individual and summation. Individual mass attacks are compared against the role of each individual die on the target speed dice combat pages in sequence, excluding counter dice. And uh, in the and the summation. Mass attacks are compared against the sum of dice rolls on the targeted on the target speed dice combat page, excluding counter dice. Oh right. Right, right. So we we okay, okay, okay. Okay, this is gonna be bad, right? There we go. Arcana Slave. Mass Summation. Single Use. 13 to 13. So, if I understood correctly, all my dice are summed up and the... And they fight together. 
They fight all, 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 all of my stuff on the... It's, it's like summed up and it fights together. So if I play this, it's gonna be like 5 to 11, right? Against 13 to 13. Okay, we're gonna lose a whole bunch of dice here. <laughs> okay. Uh, this one has a chance though. Let's see, let's see, let's see. This one has a chance. So we can clash here. So 13 to 13, I can use scratch that. So we basically win this almost all the time we can use this 10 to 26 <laughs> it would be super fun if you lose it though right and this one is like uh, 9 to 24 yeah we should use 10 to 26 but wait it says something counter dice don't count what does that mean Should we just play it safe here? I mean, here I cannot do anything, right? So... Okay, this is pretty bad, actually. So by playing it safe, I I would like... Nah, let's just use this. Let's see. <sighs> that was horrible. <laughs> So she defended, but got staggered. Oh, okay, okay. So we did not actually lose the... Okay, 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 okay. But yeah, fight's really, really tough. 78 more HP. Okay, there we go. Max the target. Uh, 50 and 19. 6 to 10. Okay. We really need cards. We really need light. We are pretty much messed up here. Uh, somebody needs to clash with that though oh boy i'm i need cards which regenerate light they're getting bonkered here oh she's playing these twice uh, oh boy yeah this is really bad getting destroyed here okay we got some damage in that's good 70 more 69, oh no, bam. Psh. Yeah, 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 I don't have the proper setup for this BS. Okay, let's see. That's okay, that's okay. I'm just gonna leave her go there. And let's see. Okay, we can sacrifice this to this die here. Well, actually, no, we don't sacrifice anything here. She's gonna kill one of our characters. This will be a very close fight. I mean, I know how to win this. Just a matter if we can do it like in this fight or if we're gonna have to try again. I think we're gonna have to try again. This is like, she has too much. Finally, finally some challenge, finally some challenge. Okay, we lost. I just don't have enough light to fight it. Okay, so it's really important against this, against this char character to win clashes and to force her to transform. I should have remembered what their cards are, but... Okay. 
defeat. Mm. Also, I, I had like problems with light. I was really, really missing light. So that's something that we're gonna have to uh, fix. Oh, it's so exciting. Finally, a proper boss fight. Okay. Uh, so yeah, let's see. Mm, I mean, Alenja is fine. Alenja is fine. Keep the paralysis on her. This is a bit random. Give one strength to random ally. It's a bit too random, so it's not gonna be working out the way I want it to work. Uh, I need some light, so let's see. Let's see. This one, but not really. Let's see. Light, 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 light recovered. There we go. There's a lot of cards that return light. On hit, restore one light. Interesting. Right. Uh, on Clash Wind, restore one light. Okay. Okay. Okay, this one's good. On use, restore two light. So this one gives us positive light. So that's really good. On use, restore two light. Yeah, that one's gonna be good. Okay, uh, so let's see. There we go. Oh, we need more of them. We need more of them. Yeah, we need more of these cards. <laughs> um, right. So where do we get that? Sayo. Right? Yeah. There we go. So we need light generation to be able to play stuff. We need some kind of way to, to block her damage. Drawing card is always good for reliability sake, right? And then clean up. So restore light. So how many of these do we have now? Nine. Great. Okay, that's really good. So we're gonna play these to keep our light high, right? We're gonna play these to draw cards. Uh, we can play Al Enja to keep paralysis on her. As much paralysis as possible. Okay, uh, what do we use to win clashes with? I can use Scratch that or I can use Crack of Dawn. Crack of Dawn only has two rolls though, so not good for this fight. So Scratch that will be the one we're gonna be using. Uh, maybe something else though, maybe something else, let me think. It has to be free attacks. No, this one must be the best one, right? Okay, let's remove the filters here. Tailoring is pretty good, 6 to 10. So tailoring also a good way to, to win clashes. Reliably. So maybe tailoring. There is that one card that attacks three times though, so I'm like, eh. Also, this thing is 12 to 20 when she does the max attack, so that's good. So tailoring can also defend us. Like the most important thing is to have to have enough light to actually pull it off, right? Combat start, inflict one feeble. Feeble. Offensive dice lose X power for the scene. Uh, that's also good. Feeble is better than strength against her. Feeble is better than strength against her. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Feeble, 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 feeble. So feeble and... <laughs> 
yep, it's a strong effect, so I'm not so surprised. I'm not surprised it's hard to, like, do it. This one's good. Inflict one feeble to random enemy. Offensive dice lose X power for the seed. That's really good. That's really good. I mean paralysis. <sighs> Up to X dice have their maximum roll value discussed by three. But that's only for one dice, so what's better? Paralysis on one dice, twice, so that's like minus six, or Shrine to Music, which does it to all her dice, right? And she usually attacks like six times. I think Shrine of, to Music will be better in this circumstance. Not sure though, not sure. But uh, let's try, let's try. So let's try to do Shrine of Music instead. So Shrine of Music, Feeble her up. Combat start, right. So, clean up to keep my light nice nice and up. Flash of sun up to draw cards. Shrine of music to make her feeble. Tailoring to win very hard brawls. Um... How is good, how good is this though? Two to four, three to nine. If you put three feeble on her, that becomes five to seven and six to twelve, right? Kind of. Okay, let's see the enchantments here. So feeble, 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 feeble. Keyword power, strength, endurance, fleet paralysis. So I want to have strength every turn if possible. Not just the first one. Ugh, that's expensive. I didn't have seen if all allies are alive, gain one strength next scene. At the end of Okay, no. <laughs> 50% chance to gain one string next scene, that's kind of alright. If three or fewer pages, no. No. Yeah, that's a bit problematic. So the things that are uh, at the start of the act are not very interesting to me because, well, yeah. I could try with this. I could try with this. I probably should have saved the last setup, but that's okay. Uh, yum yum here. No, Dakota. Yeah, let's save this setup. Let's save the current setup. I'm gonna call it, I don't know. I'm gonna call this standard. And let's see. And I'm gonna call this one. Con clash. Counter clash. Something like that. Okay. Not sure about tailoring though. It is a bit expensive. Let's try it out. No, but we need it, like, how do we even deal with the mass attack then, right? I can just eat it, I guess? Yeah, let's try eating the mass attack. Okay, confirm. So, I'm gonna need Flash of Sun up. Mm, draw card, page draw. 
Right, this one draws one page. Draw a page upon discarding this page. Relay. Draw a page upon discarding page. On hit, draw a page. Eh. I think this is a bit weird. <laughs> I think this is a weird. So like in my head it makes sense, but I don't know if practice if we're gonna be strong enough. But let's try. Olga here is a little bit of a weird one though. Because of the margin, right? I could also go with Slash, right? Sayo. Slash dice power plus one. Okay, so these are slash. These are blunt though. Which kind of sucks. Power. Nope. <laughs> Dice gain plus one power for every five stacks of bleed on self. I could use Jacon. Wait, what? Ah, there. Okay. Uh, dark cloud slash dice power, draw two pages more. That's all good. That's all good. I wonder if this would work. Should we try to make some bleed on us? <laughs> At the end of the scene, if all allies are alive, gain one strength next scene. If all, uh, okay. Yeah, let's go for one strength here. There you go. So we got, uh, we got slash dice power plus one and we got... Uh, We got solidarity. If all of us are alive, get one strength next scene. And now we need something that costs one. A feeble. Upon winning a clash with offensive dice, inflict one bleed next scene. Let's try that. Okay, however, what kind of dice we use here? I'll be... Go 
this, this. There we go. Okay. Now, I need some slash damage here. Slash dice power plus one. Uh, can we, like, there we go. This is a brawl. What are counter dice? I don't know what counter dice are. Head to head. Use inflict one bleed to self next scene and hit. Okay. Combat start. Give one strength to two random allies. Hmm. These are too random though. Combat start. Boost slash dice power by plus two for this scene. That's not good though. It's just three to five. So we would not an need another strong slash card to like... Well, this one would make this one better, that's for sure. Uh, feeble. On hit, in fifth line, feeble next scene. Okay, that seems better for her. I will need some light though. Okay, this restores light, so that's good. This to draw cards. So... Oh, we are out. Okay. Um, right. Fierce. On hit, inflict one paralysis next scene. For one. One paralysis for one. But we have to play it a couple of times first. But once we pay, play this two times, it's gonna be way better, right? But such a weird card to play on a slash focus character though, right? I know mostly what I want. I'm gonna take this. Okay. Right, well, <laughs> let's see. <laughs> oh boy. So yeah, now we're playing something we never played before. So the idea here is to make her feeble and win all the clashes and hopefully, well, hopefully prevail. Okay. Well, this one is a bit hard to win though, right? 6 to 10. I have nothing against that. So that might be a problem, right? 6 to 10. Also... This thing needs to hit. And I have to play this. To restore to light. So this one would be really good to win the clashes against. 3 to 8, 3 to 8. If so nasty. What do we even use to win clashes? Shrine to music. I guess. There we go. And this has to land, right? Okay. 
And we're gonna need some light. Okay, that's good, right? And this one? Uh, this one needs to go into Shrine of Music. Wait, what? Oh. Okay. How much is Shrine to Music? 2 to 4, 3 to 9? No, actually, it's here, right? This is better. She has like, she's strengthened and she has more slash power. So this will be like 4 to 8 at least. And she's gonna be feeble. Okay, that one's good. That one goes into Shrine to Music, which is okay. We get some light back. We get some light back. Okay, let's see how this goes. One. Right, fragile, feeble, decreases the power of offensive dice by 3 for the duration of a scene. So she's rolling once basically now. So that works really well. Only problem is, will I be able to keep this up, right? Eight bleed. Oh boy, I like to see that. So the screen is basically pink now. Come on, transform. Transform, please. Okay, let's see. Shrine to music, right? Trying to music, on clash loose, on, on hit, right, we need something with three attacks to go against that. Can we get the third attack like all the way down to one, I have no idea. We can try. It. Actually, full stop to life is good. Maybe we should, oh we cannot intercept this one. With love. Also, I, I need to start playing Flash of Sunups, right? So she can only play... Wait, what? Why do I have only two light? Oh yeah, I used three, I gained one back. Okay, I did not get an emotion level. Okay, okay, okay. So we can play only Shrine of Music here. That's pretty bad, actually. And I cannot intercept that, so that makes it even worse. Unless I can win, win, win with this, which is pretty unlikely, I'd say. Without playing Shrine of Music. <laughs> Although, yeah, I'm gonna try to push her into transformation here. If that doesn't work, I'm gonna play more, more uh, conservative for the first three turns. Or I don't know, actually. And then what, right? We don't have big cards to defend against the big deal. I would like to play this thing, right? But this one has to land. I'm not even gonna play this then, right? Ah, uh, so weird actually. So weird. She rolled a free. Okay, thank God for that. Okay, are you gonna? No, you're not gonna. Why doesn't she transform though? Like the the, the screen is super pinkish. 
Oh no, this one's the problematic, right? She's gonna win the clash here. There we go! Bam! We did it! Um, was that a good thing though? <laughs> um, no. um, use a mass attack page that targets all our bravings every four scenes. If the abnormality uses the page while being transported, it becomes staggered on the following scene. Right. That was all just to get her staggered, right? She healed to full. Yeah, happy times, happy times. Right. Inflict too fragile next scene. Is this a new card? On hit, recover HP equal to the roll's value. Okay. Right. Uh, right, 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 right. Blunt pierce, blunt pierce, pierce. Uh, so I want, let's see. Normal, endured. Okay, I don't want her to attack this dude with a blunt attack. Can we like, no, we cannot. We rolled poorly here, oh boy. It's kind of really bad. It's kind of really bad. I mean, I can play this. Where is this going? Pierce, are you good against Pierce? No, who's good against Pierce? But again, yeah, we cannot like change uh, such a bad rules. Okay, that messed me up a little bit. Now let's play the music, I guess. to this die so we don't clash here I mean these are too hard for me right now what was that Yeah, uh, transforming her was not a good idea, I'd say. That's for sure. <laughs> okay, now she... Okay, next next turn she's gonna get staggered, right? So she's gonna do Arcana Slave 16 to 20. Why is it stronger? Yeah, that definitely wasn't it. That definitely wasn't it. <laughs> I thought if I can win a whole bunch of clashes and transform her, the fight becomes easier. But... Uh... She will stagger after this, but... He's gonna die. He's gonna die. And there's really not much I can do about it. Yeah, definitely we can't we can't transform here, that's too strong. I mean stagger is nice and all, but uh, 
What now, right? I mean, it's staggered, but... How much damage can we really do here? Like... Not enough, basically. It heals to full when it transforms, so yeah, we worked so hard to transform her and it doesn't really work. So we just need something to defend against the mass attack then. That's it. Okay. Well, good try. Good try. No cigar though. Oh boy. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, let's uh, let's see. Um So the best bet to defend against the the mass attack would be either tailoring 12 to 20. I think tailoring is gonna be the best one, right? So we need tailoring to defend. You know what? Let's load this. Yes, so I'm gonna use I'm gonna use cleanup and flash of sun up, right? Tailoring. And we need to like we need to defend against the big attack on the turn four with this. Probably. What else? What else? Healing might be good if you're going for a long fight, right? Problem is, they, we don't have any abnormality pages here, which is like super annoying. I mean, Feeble is good. Feeble is good. I just don't think I can slot it in easily. So it's a little bit too expensive. Let's see, her HP recovery. On hit, give one strength to two random allies next scene. On hit, curve free HP of two random allies. Phew. That's, that's six healing. Hit, recover HP equal to stacks of bleed on target. For the scene, take 6 damage and subtract one third of the stack every time an offensive die rolls. Runs up. Mm. Mm. Problem is, if we keep playing two cards a turn, we will eventually run out, right? What other card draw do we have? So this is the best one. Hmm. So basically these just replace themselves, so we don't draw any extra cards. But that's okay, that's okay. They make burn though, which doesn't go really well with, yeah. On hit, recover to HP, on hit, recover to HP. Mm. So this is if we want to defend against mass attack. What if we just ignore the mass attack, kind of? Ugh, a lot of crazy ideas here. What's gonna work? What's gonna work? This 
one's also pretty good to defend against the mass attack. Costs only three. Play something that's cheap and strong, but what would that be? I mean, Shrine to Music is very interesting. Really, so we can either go Shrine to Music route to try to get as, as few damage as possible on my side. Something like that. Here's my chance. Inflict free bleed to solve this scene. All dice on this page gain plus two power. This is if we're playing Jakan. Silent me is gain free protection. I mean, observe is good if you go strength route. Gain three strength next scene. <laughs> this one gives one strength. Mm. But on combat starts, so we can't know who's gonna get it. Okay, let's try like this. Uh, it what? Cruelty. Flesh of sun ups, clean ups, cruelties, and. So this is for healing. And what's gonna be the final card then? I could play this on hit throw on page. But doesn't do anything else though. But basically it's like a... So we can play this whenever we have nothing else to play. It just replaces itself, right? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Not sure about tailoring as well. So what are we using right now? I think it's really good to play battle ready. So they all have battle ready, so that's good. So we started with six cards, that's really good. Pust, pust is not gonna be very useful though. And we can try just to see how it how it works. Meow meow, battle ready, onky onky. No, we think we need some uh, we need some stuff that's gonna be good throughout the fight, right? At the end of the scene, if all allies are alive, gain one string next scene. If all others have death, inflict two feeble. Okay. We could all play this. That's the most uh, simple one. This one's also interesting. At the end of each scene, gain one string at 50% chance next scene. Lone fixer. No. No. Well. No. No. Two strength is a lot. 
We could, like, make one of them be really powerful if he's alone. Okay, what else do we have here? This should be all the cards, right? Reset, there we go. Sayus page. Oh yeah, that's good. Draw two more... Well, we already... Right, we play battle already for sure. Slash dice power plus one. That's Pierce though. No, that's not gonna work here. But this is good. But then we can't play this even if we wanted to, right? So we need to go like four and, uh, four and lower here. Hmm. Deal plus one damage against enemies with bleed. Deal plus one stagger damage against enemies with I don't think that works. If this works, that would be amazing. I mean, I could go with Fragile, so we do more damage. But here we are looking forward to outlast the enemies. Upon winning a clash with offensive dice, inflict one bleed next scene. Are we gonna be winning the clashes here? Probably not. What do we even win the clashes with here? Nothing, right? We just avoid the clashes. Yeah, we're not gonna be winning the clashes. So nothing of that sort. This is good. Yeah, this is good. I think. And what will be the third one? So let's go down to two. There might be some better choices, but... When the inflicting bleed using combat pages apply plus one additional stack. You know what? Sure. So we're gonna do bleed bleed setup here. So we go Yang and Sayo. I guess. I guess that's how we do it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh what? We're using Well then obviously well do we use the Sayo's page here? Yunk, 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 there we go, this, this, and this. Okay. So you're weak to blunt, you're enduring to slash, and you are... If the character discards the page, you one light every scene. If the character has the page, draw one page, you'll start the next scene. Oh, Hanafuda's really good at discarding. Mm. We draw a page and gain a light if we discard a card. Right now we are not even using that, so that's bad, right? And then yum yum here. So we have the razor strike already. And the battle ready. Now this one we said no. And then let's see if all others are alive, gain one strength, let's see if all others are dead, inflict two feeble on self instead. Only one strength though. Let's not do that. But now we have like we have options here. We have options. Well, young, right, for sure. There we go. 
And what does Jean do? Oh yeah, we're not winning clashes, right? Uh, so we have four more. So go. let's go to four and lower. There we go. At the end of each scene, gain one string at 50% chance. No. No. <laughs> Lone fixer. No. No. Well, when inflicting burn using combat page to apply one additional stack, we will be doing burn as well as slash. Probably not what I want here, but we'll see. Okay. Pierce stagger, no. Slash. That doesn't work, it's ineffective, so it's always gonna do one, I believe. Recover 2 HP at the start of each scene. Okay, that's interesting. That's interesting. Okay. Okay, load combat page list. I don't know. Oh, I'm missing a card. Yeah, I don't know if that's gonna work. Uh, wait, what? What happened there? Oh, I'm missing one flash of sun up. That's what happened. Okay. Well, I can do one of these more right then. It's a it's similar, weaker, I'd say, but free. Uh, okay, uh, this this one's not good. We need to change it, but I'm not gonna do it right now. Well, we could just change it to something, I guess. Okay, so definitely I can get better, but I wanna see like if this works at all or if I need to change the tactics again. So here we go. Ah. Uh. So idea is not to let her transform because that turned out to be a horrible, horrible thing. So he's weak to blunt, so I need somebody who's like good or at least normal to take that attack on. There you go. Then we want to clash this thing 3 to 8 so it doesn't get extra power. And this one, okay. There. There, I guess. And then probably good idea to like do the cleanups, right? There you go. Wait, that goes there. That should go there, right? No. There, okay. Okay, let's go. We're gonna be losing a lot of uh, clashes here. So that means she's, she shouldn't transform. I just don't know if I'm gonna have enough HP to keep this up. But the idea is, right? Uh, She's gonna bleed out and burn out. That's that's the idea. Why is this why is this thing so pink? The hysteria couch rises up upon losing clashes or being attacked by my characters and decreases upon winning clashes or attacking marked characters. Okay, so I want her to attack the marked character. Okay. So what in the name of the head, you just pay at least a mark to target every two seats, or just so the marker has changed to weak, and the character will be primarily targeted. Okay, so uh Well, I do kind of want her to attack here. But I also don't. <laughs> Does that make any sense to you? Does that make any sense to you whatsoever? Inflict free bind. Ooh. 
Can we even fight that thing? No, we cannot. Well, I can tailoring it. But then we don't have the tailoring for the face when we really need it, right? So she's gonna be like weak here. But if I don't do that, she's gonna go pink, which is also bad. I don't know. With love. I can let this one go. Like one attack I'm gonna let go. And this one... Oh, we can't even intercept that thing. So we take it here. Ish. Yeah, we have no blunt resistance right now. I definitely need to change things around a little bit. That's okay though. So you're the one getting bonkered up here. Okay, this one I can let go. Okay, 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 okay. So flash of sun up. Doesn't really matter, does it? Well, maybe I don't need to play clean up this turn. I mean, I have a lot of light, so... Well, once more, once more. Where did we go? On the first one, okay. Okay, I have no flash of sun up, that's really bad. I can play this instead, right? Let's draw some cards. Now this thing, I think I wanted it to go there, right? I mean, he's also weak to blunt, so we didn't really achieve anything here. Yeah, I want her to attack there then. Just maybe not all three of these attacks. Uh, yeah, take one of them. goes there that one goes there and we do that and that okay <laughs> oh boy uh, hopefully sometimes she rolls bad right okay she got staggered anyway next turn she's gonna do a mass attack we are not really looking good right here you're not really looking good. I cannot intercept that thing, so that might kill her, actually. I can intercept this one, though. Oh! My max is 4, I guess, so we failed there, ba basically. Yeah. Well, we have max light plus 1, so now I should have been using the, the cleanup. Alright. Well, we should definitely... Well, we can heal for a tiny bit here. Hmm. Yeah, it's a bit annoying. Yeah, not really good. Not really good. Mm. So next turn everyone will be able to use tailoring, but... Not sure how useful that will be. We'll see. She's so strong. <laughs> well, we are barely alive, but we are alive. OK, 
Okay, now she does the max attack. Yep. 13 to 13. Hmm. But then the other two attacks are like... Tsh. Yeah, tailoring is a bit weak. It take, costs too much, so if I play tailoring here, I can't use anything else. So that's a little bit problematic. So definitely not tailoring. I'm gonna tell you that much. Tailoring is not the answer here. So we defend it basically with tailoring, but after that we don't have like anything else to play, so it kind of sucks. We lose one character there, which means things will become way tougher now. She has three dice. No, she has three dice all the time. Okay, definitely not tailoring. I sacrificed way too much to get to that point. She's bleeding by a lot though. I feel like we need something to be able to like win clashes a tiny bit. A tiny bit. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I know the answer is somewhere there. Uh, I'm not gonna be healing. I'm not gonna be healing. I thought we will not be taking so much damage. Turns out we were, we are taking way more damage than I was expecting. <laughs> So definitely we're not gonna be healing, so let's remove cruelty here. Uh, and let's remove tailoring. I think scratch that is really good damage wise, so we should probably use it. Cleanup's good. So... Light recover, there we go. Cleanup's good. These are also good. And cleanup's good. And then something to win clashes with. Something that's gonna help us win clashes. Uh, mm, 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 mm. We could do paralysis on her dice. And also this one's not too bad. Or we can go with beautiful music. Both could work, I guess. Let's try like this. Save current setup. Go. Okay, load. Telling just a little bit too expensive. It is a really good card, but. All oh, right, I could have used tailoring to clash with something else. It was just important to slot it there, right? I, I, I'm still making a lot of mistakes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I slotted in the right thing, but I did not have to like, yeah, yeah, I could have used it to. Okay, but I think scratch that will do about the same-ish. Most of the time it should win that thing. Okay, let's try this. <laughs> Queen of hatred. I hate her. Uh. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Oh, this one's recovering HP. That's fine, that's fine. Right, 6 to 10. And marks the target, right. So it would be good if we have a strong turn next turn, right? Uh, it's so nice to see scratches that in my hand, though. It takes three gain two strength next scene. So this one's good here, right? Kind of. No. So this is blunt, blunt, blunt should go here anyway, right? Yeah. We just let it go. Yeah, we just let it go. Okay. 
And then we got this thing on Clash Lewis, lower, lower. So this is Pierce. Normal. Normal. Okay, doesn't really matter. Right? And here. So this one will not be one-sided, right? And she's not gonna be losing clashes here. Unless I try to do this. And lock out. Which is a big, big, big F. Maybe. In the name of... Okay. First one was good. Ah, oh, really? Okay, that's too bad. Now this one's gonna be tougher. Well, okay. In the name of justice. Okay, so... I'm rolling like crazy here. Well, bleeds are starting to add up. Uh, so let's see. Yeah, these two, I don't want to be one-sided, so... Okay, this one's not too bad, right? Oh, right, so we need to, like, intercept here. So this is... Oh, that, that one's fine, I guess. Uh, So who's good against Pierce? No one. I should have a character which is good against Pierce, that's for sure. Okay, uh, you can take this thing. You can take... Oh, you can have it. This did not land even once. Wait, what? Why does she have paralysis? Didn't we land some stuff on her last turn? I guess not. Why is this in the deck? I swear. <laughs> How did this end up in the deck? I did not want that in the deck. Okay. Uh, right, right, right. So let's keep the, the bleed going, I guess. Okay, that's fine. Let's try, I guess. And this one goes. So this one should go last. This one should go last. It goes there. I just eat it up with this, I guess. There we go. And then I can do this. Ah, some sketchy ideas here. Okay, that's not... Uh, okay, we won this one. That's good. I don't even see, okay, 3 to 8, 4 to 6, she rolled a 6, so we need a max roll here, and didn't really work out, okay. Yeah, too bad for that one. I guess the chances were not too big, we're gonna succeed there, but...
so 158 158 marks the target right um, so next turn everyone needs to just scratch that hopefully defend against the big bad attack uh, There we go, right? Okay. This one, 6 to 10. I think we just tank that one. Can't do much about it. Well, she's good against that. So she can pick it up. Let's do this one. We'll have enough. No, then I'm not going to have enough, right? Let's do it the other way around. Let's use this to tank. To get some light and then let's paralyze her for next turn and then this one yeah this one we just ignore right so there you go okay in the name nope in the name uh nope in the name uh nope there we go, that was really good. I think we got her now. So next turn we just play our scratches. Hopefully do really well against the... The mass attack. And then, well, destroy some good cards there. Okay. Ooh, no, that's not good. That's not good. So this will hit her. Hopefully not kill though. So let's scratch this one there and let's scratch that one there and this one. Oh, it's targeting here though. 13 to 13. We just let it go. Blunt. No, this will stagger us if it goes through. But we can't really defend against it either. And then, I don't know, probably need this. I mean, I don't have to do it like that. I can do it the other way around, just in case. I think that's gonna be okay though. Oh, wait, what? Oh no, I messed it up there. Oh no. I did not have my scratch that defending me there. Oh boy. Okay. I saw wrong which which card he she defended against. Okay. Well she's really low. She's really low. So what's this? Marks the target. Uh, six to ten blunt. Can you survive that? You should be able to. Okay. Then here, well, this is a bit problematic. There might be some stagger there. And this one goes here. Okay, well, she has pretty slow dice, though. So we can get some really good attacks here if we go first. And we can. choose what goes there. Oh, I can do scratch that again. I can do it next turn as well. No, it's best we just do for damage, right? Like that. Where do I want... So, this attack goes there. That's gonna be painful, but... Yeah, I'm preparing to finish her off here, so that's why I don't care what happens there. So this is the only important thing, right? Where this four goes. I probably don't want this, the scratch that to fight with that, so I need something which doesn't do much damage. Like this one here. Okay. Why does she go first? 
was so weird. But yeah, she's down here. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay. Please don't transform. <laughs> oh, that would be crazy if she transforms now. Oh, boy. Well, we did it. Uh, it took a little bit longer than I expected. But uh, yeah, finally we have some... We finally have some fights where we need to do some thinking. So uh, the decks are not the best, but... Okay, different. Not this. Not that. Need a hand? I can do all this by myself. Jeez, just looking at the covers of these books makes me dizzy. Did you read them all? Sort of. Quantum physics, cell biology, you wrote some difficult looking labels on them. It's hard to recognize the contents of the books here from their title alone. And it's even harder to find books that are actually readable. Yeah, a lot of them didn't even have a lot of com complete sentences. Uh, now that I think about it. The completeness of a book mostly depends on the reader, though. Some are just unstable to begin with. Does that completeness have something to do with some books disappearing upon reading while others don't? I'm not too sure, but I think that has to do with how roughly the book was read. Hmm. Once all the contents of a book have been read and understood, it vanishes since it serves it served its purpose. Interesting. Oh. Hey, I heard of something like that. Light can be considered as a particle or a wave depending on how it is observed, right? Oof. <laughs> That's some physics right there. <laughs> Maybe the properties of books can change depending on the reader in the same sense? I don't know. Stop trying to make weird comparisons with your shoddy knowledge. It probably just inexplicably works like singularities do. Just roll with it. You seem very proud of your ignorance. I don't pretend to understand things I don't get. I still make sure to read and manage all the books you send here, though. The same book can show different things each time you read it. Understanding a book completely is a repetitive process, you know? And I don't want to stay ignorant forever. That's annoying. Different content every time you read it, hmm? So that's why we need multiple copies of a book. Okay, so this this little bit uh, ties into how sometimes when you burn a book, you get these pages and sometimes you get those. It all depends how you read it, right? I still don't fully get it, but I actually kind of like the properties of light you just told me. So basically, we don't really burn the book, we read it and learn something from it and then it vanishes, maybe. The fact that something can change just by looking at it, it's romantic in a way. And maybe I held enough meaning for Enoch just by staying at his, at his uh, side. Enoch? There were two tip for it in the past, back in my second life, as you and Malkut put it. Right, her past self. And we were together in our first lives too. Oh, that's your boyfriend? Sounds like you were together for a pretty long time. Enoch left my sight in both of those lives. Damn, got dumped twice? What a shame. Keep your chin up, though. It's not like a breakup is the end of the world. You're gonna get smacked, Roland. Roland. He died. Oh, snap, that hurts. And Enoch wasn't someone who could be put in such light terms. Uh oh, I'm, uh, I'm terribly sorry, miss. I um, apologize for my carelessness. It's alright. When I bid farewell to Enoch for the second time, I'm sure he could find the meaning he was looking for. That our lives and sacrifices were not in vain. We lived in a world where everyone died so easily, but he believed that dying a meaningless death was not what people were born for. That's kind of hard for me to follow. How about you, Dan? Did you find the meaning? Maybe? The purpose given to me now is to complete the light so that I can be used properly. Everyone's been talking about that light thing. What exactly is it about? You've heard about Lobotomy Corporation Singularity, right? Well, yeah, kind of. Technology that physically manifests the mind, was it? That's right. Those manifestations can also be dissolved back into an indefinite form and seeped into people's minds. Hmm, I guess that makes sense. Lobotomy Corp gathered the light over a long time to cure the ill minds of the city's denizens. Of course, all the while operating as an energy company on the outside. How do you generate enough energy to stand as a wink? pulled it out of people? Creatures called abnormalities were created as a side effect of our singularity. As we manage to, as we manage them, we learn that they emit a certain form of energy. That's encephalin. What? Those encephalin batteries were made from monster produce? Damn, and I used encephalin lighters to smoke too. From people, to be precise, it's humans that are turned into abnormalities. 
Creatures born out of human mind, eh? And I'm guessing tons of employees died during the process of managing these creatures? You're right, it was all part of the stage play Angela mentioned. Quite typical of the CTA, a company that massacred people with the end goal of curing them. It's almost like a cliche for all the myths about the wings at this point. It sure is. I don't know. I don't know a lot about the other rings, but they probably aren't too different, right? Oh, they're totally the same. That's the kind of cycle we wanted to break. And the light being the means to achieve that, eh? Sounds more like you were trying to brainwash people with it or something. It's not as simple as that. It's a matter of perspective, really. To be fair, I only know the general outline of the things. So I wanna see for myself if those cycles are really happening out of there. I don't really know much about this world like Angela. Like Angela. Leave it to me, Miss Stiff. I'll bring just the right books to you. <laughs> Let your actions speak for you then. Okay. Well, Floor of Natural Sciences, Realization level up. You now have access to new abnormality pages. The emotion level threshold has increased to level 2. Uh, okay. Uh, love. In the name of love and justice, here comes Magical Girl. After winning a clash using an offensive die, random ally restores 3 to 5 HP. After winning a clash using a defensive die, random ally recourse to 3 4 stagger resist. Okay, kind of cool. Uh, justice. If I'm on the side of good, then someone has to be on the side of evil. Without someone to play the villain, I can't exist. The enemy who dealt the most damage to allies on the previous scene is marked as villain. Dealt 3 to 5 damage when attacking the villain. Okay, and hate. She vowed to love everything in the world, but all that was left was a collapsing heart. Single ally. After losing a clash, take 2 to 4 stagger damage and gain 1 strength next scene, up to 2 per scene. After losing 3 clashes in a single scene, reduce the cost of the most expensive page and can't buy 1. Interesting. And so we only have three abnormalities. Okay. So that was a little bit hard. So in the end, I used like little bit cheesy tactics. Uh, so I used Flash of Sun up to like just not get too much damage from that thing that doesn't want to do one sided clashes. I used Clean up to build up bleed stacks. I used Scratch that. Well, at least the plan was to hold uh, the hold the fourth turn didn't really turn out well one character was scraggered one character defended and then one character i put it in a wrong dice so yay me but uh, yeah still the plan was good uh, this i don't know sometimes i won clashes with this but maybe wasn't the best i didn't feel like i put a lot of uh, paralysis on the enemy so this two didn't work this worked so this was my card drawing light engine that allowed me to push to keep the fight going for like I don't know five six seven scenes until I finally defeated her and then this was a mistake <laughs> so definitely didn't want that one and then yeah and uh, this thing is bad no not this thing yeah Hanafuda's bad because we did not really get any use of bottom deal and stacking the deck so I would use a different page probably something that uh, has enduring pierce or blunt ideally blunt so yeah, if we take something that has uh, has enduring blunt, it would be easier. Not sure if such. Uh, so this one, I could use this one instead. I would probably use Meow's page instead. Now that if I would lose, I would use Meow instead of here, and then Meow would thank the peers, and then maybe instead of I don't know. Instead of Salvador, well. Instead of Sayo, maybe, but Sayo did. Sayo actually, we needed Sayo. Sayo put a lot of bleed on the enemies, so yeah. But yeah, I could introduce uh, enduring Pierce damage if I wanted uh, through the through the Meow's page. But yeah, in the end, it worked out well. I still had some juice left in me after we killed her, so yeah, we we managed to do it <laughs> with the deck I pulled together. <laughs> Uh, funny deck and I'm gonna play with this a little bit. I'm probably gonna be losing hard because this was tailored specifically But uh, let's see. Let's see. We'll be able to play a lot of scratches that I guess and a lot of these ones are actually good I'll end so We'll see <laughs> anyhow 
we did it and finally we had a harder fight uh, maybe the fight is not hard maybe i just played it wrong but in any case if you enjoyed this episode like and subscribe in the meantime i wish you all to have a wonderful day uh, see you back tomorrow when we're gonna do this one here so we're gonna continue the dawn story and yeah uh, have a wonderful day do something nice thank you all for watching and see you in the next episode neomer signing out bye bye